Hello, everybody, and this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today, and it is Joy Jenkins, and she is here today. She is an unbelievable woman. She had started in the corporate world, and she had worked very hard to the point where she got herself burnt out, but she did not give up. She had a dream. She had goals, and she knew that there was something more out there for her, so she followed her dreams, and now she's on a totally different path um, pathway. And she's here to tell you about it and to tell and encourage people that all your dreams can become a reality if you really put your mind to it. And so, Joy, why don't you tell everybody a little about yourself, what you do? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much for having me, Stacy. I uh, started in corporate America over 20 years ago after having a very diverse background mm -hmm. uh, in college. I studied music, uh, had no impact on what I did in the years to come. Um, I had a corporate mother who was president of a bank back in the 70s when corporate women were especially not accepted. So I had an interesting model um, at that time. Mm -hmm. And I got into global um, software as a service sales, highly successful, working with global clients out of New York City. And I got very burned out um, because of COVID, because of a lot of things happening. And during that time, I was uh, I, I knew I was about to get a big commission and decided when this happens, I'm taking a sabbatical. and. Yeah that resulted in some time off and that resulted in some creative thinking. And now here we are. That's amazing. You know, I think it's, it's so important, you know, to people understand that, you know, there's so many people out there that get burnt out in the corporate world. And it's, and a lot of times people don't even realize the symptoms, you know, it starts creeping up on you and then all of a sudden, boom, and, you know, people are, you know, they feel burnt out, they can't focus and they have a hard time just getting, getting through life and they wake up every morning, they're hating what they do and they just don't, you know, have the, the, the passion or, you know, the, the, the willingness and the happiness inside of them. Like they, they did when they were younger and, you know, what made you really decide that co the corporate world wasn't for you, that you wanted something different in your life? You know, I think um, I know that we can all be good at something and it still may not be our calling. I think that I've always been since I was a child addicted to um, self-improvement or um, self-preservation, as I like to call it. Yeah. So I think that not feeling valued in your corporate role for how hard you're working and even though the money may flow it's, it's feeling that value and fulfillment. And, you know, it, it's, it's not exciting when you feel that obligation every day to get up and go to work and think that you're, you're just rather, you'd rather go have your, you know, you, you'd rather go have your wisdom teeth out versus <laughs> going to do what you know is ahead of you, but you have to do it to pay the bills. Right. Right. Now you, you worked in corporate world for a while. You got burnt out. You knew this wasn't for you. And then you started to build a passion for, for the beauty industry. And you had ideas and dreams that you wanted to pursue. Now, what made you, you know, decide that the corporate world wasn't for you anymore and that you wanted to actually, you had the resilience to actually move forward and try something totally out of your league. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I've always had um, an interest in doing things outside corporate America. And in this day and age, and with the internet, with YouTube, with Ask Google, Ask Siri, anything, I can't imagine, even if I were making millions of dollars in corporate America, at any time, I think I would always have to have some side hustle Mm -hmm. because of the nature of the information that is available to us. And why not? Like, why would we just only rely on one revenue stream when there's so many free resources out there to enable us to do things that energize us that we have like more control over? Yeah. Now, you know, you decided to go into the beauty industry. What made you decide that you wanted to focus on beauty products? 
You know, I think that I've always been obsessed with, you know, being from the South. I don't, I don't know how we look and feel more importantly, like how we feel on the inside is a projection of how we are on the outside and being in sales. I've studied enough about how people buy from you in terms of people size you up within the first three to five seconds. They either trust you, they don't trust you. And then I will say, I have some friends in beauty, skincare industry who've tried to start their own companies or who have had their own companies. And I had so many people telling me this market, this space is so competitive, don't do it. So I'm always one to push back and say, watch me, watch me go do it. (laughs) Yeah. I love it. And, you know, I, I, I like that your products are, you know, they, they seem very natural. They seem that the ingredients is very high quality, you know, because I go, you know, we were talking a little bit about this earlier. I go into the, like, you know, a lot of these places like Sephora, like you had mentioned, and, you know, a lot of the products are really expensive. And sometimes if you look at the ingredients of some products, you know, it's not the best thing for your, your skin or for your body. And people don't realize that even when we use soaps, when we use makeup, you know, everything goes through our pores into our bodies. And over time, it can do damage to your bodies, you know, depending on what you're using and what's in the product, you know, what people don't think about these things, they might see a celebrity using it, or somebody on Instagram, that has influence and right away like people go ballistic and they want to buy it but they're not thinking about you know the consequences or how good a a product it really is you know and so maybe you could tell people a little about your product and why your product is so unique than others yeah yeah no thank you for that I think to follow on what you just said before I talk a little bit about my product I think of companies like McDonald's and Whole Foods they're Think about our other other industries, whether you're buying shoes or whether you're buying a hamburger, there are consequences to eating bad food. There's consequences to buying cheap clothes, cheap mm-hmm. shoes, and there's a time and place for each. I mean, I take my son to get a Happy Meal or Sonic or, mm-hmm. you know, things like that. But I, I think that my, my message to myself and to anyone else starting a business is there's room for everybody. So I was very motivated to find a high quality product. So I chose the private label route, which means, you know, I started sending off for samples from many uh, well-known manufacturers out there. Some of them work with the Kylie Cosmetics. Some of them work with the Dior brands and things like that. And what I found through that process is I couldn't believe how awful the ingredients were. And not only were the ingredients awful, the expense of boxing, labeling, printing, it wasn't a turnkey operation. So I was lucky enough to find a company out of Washington that I work with now. And we found our facial oil and, um, I, everyone felt, I'm very lucky because everyone fell in love with the product. So we tested it out, um, went through a couple of label iterations to test out, you know, my joy beauty, my joy oil, joy oil, rose gold oil, sort of looking at the competitive space out there. And what I found was, and this is kind of where my corporate background comes in handy is I know how to do the research. And so I think in today's world, because of the internet and the good things I mentioned earlier, yeah, you have a subset of entrepreneurs who think, oh, I'm just going to go create my product and we're going to go viral on TikTok like tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and so while that may be a great path for some people, I believe there's so much groundwork and investment that has to be laid in that groundwork. And so we've chosen... Mm-hmm. To go this route, we started very small and we've seen a very slight crescendo um, as as we've gone throughout the process. But, you know, our we we currently only have two products. It's my joy oil, which is um, all skin oil for your skin, for your hair, for your nails. You can combine it with products. Um, And then we have my joy lips, which is a lip oil and kind of the same thing. It's it's a great uh, 
nourishing non-sticky lip oil that lasts and nourishes your lips and there are no harsh chemicals. And I like to say it starts with what's not in our products. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like it's so important for people to realize that it's it, the quality of a product is is so important because a lot of people will just, you know, they'll buy cheaper products or they'll buy products that, you know, that they think are, you know, a trending at the moment, you know, and they don't think about the the quality of it. But, you know, I, I love that your products are, you know, quality, they have quality ingredients in them and that they're, they, they absorb so well into the skin, you know, huh. You know, and, uh, you know, maybe you could tell us a little about like why you wanted to focus on those two products at first. Yeah. So that's a great question. I had a lot of people saying, well, gosh, aren't you going to do a whole line? Are you going to do a hairline? Are you going to do makeup brushes? Are you going to, so I think part of it is honing in on, uh, you, you have to focus in on one or two good products. Yeah. And the reason I did that is because I interviewed, a lot of people who started beauty brands, whether it was hair care, makeup brushes, makeup, skincare, and studied like, what are the lessons learned? The biggest lesson was they put so much into too many products and you really have to hone in on one or two products. And so that was the reason we're only at the two products generally right now. And then the reason I picked the facial oil is because I love oils. I've been a fan of serums, oils, and different things my whole life. Yeah. But what's different about this particular oil is I'm hard pressed to find another oil on the market um, that's a dry oil. So when you use it, that means you can actually leave the bottle open. You can um, combine it with your shampoo. You can combine it with your SPF, your any, anything that you put on your skin, hair, face, nails, yeah. you really combine it with anything and it goes into your skin automatically. And what I discovered was not only does it work for acne, it works for rosacea. It works for brown spots. It works amazing results for just, um, it, any skin ailments that you might have for anti-aging. Um, yeah. So that was something I felt that moms in particular mm -hmm. really need. And I have a lot of teachers that order for me and they say, oh my gosh, we now don't even like, aside from SPF, like this is all we use, even the younger ladies and they're looking for that glow, but it's not like the other oils out on the market that do not absorb into your skin. Yeah. Because it has very few ingredients. Um, we've not had one return and we've had zero. There's no allergic reactions because of the ingredients. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Now, when you um when you started started this project, was it was it hard in the beginning to get started, you know, to come up with the ideas and to put everything together? Because a lot of people think it's easy to start a business, you know, and it's very hard when it comes to supplements or makeup or things like that, especially when the when there's so much competition out there. You know, there's a lot to consider, you know, and uh, even with the competition so large in our, our industry, what made you really want to pursue this? Yeah, you know, um, I love challenges. I mean, I, I don't consider it hard work at all. I think that I, whether it was in my corporate job, I was always the pioneer who did things that no one else did to achieve the most success. So mm -hmm. I love starting with a blank sheet of paper and yeah. going to Amazon and looking at good reviews and bad reviews for all the facial oils out there. I, I am addicted to research. I love to see patterns yeah. of what works, what doesn't work. So, you know, I think you're, you're starting your LLC and, and talking to people and, and taking free online classes. That was all fun for me. It was not hard work. If, yeah. I think it's a matter of, what energizes you. And the more I learned about how easy it is really to stand something up within a few months and apply the knowledge I had from my corporate background, mm -hmm. I'm 
I'm super proud of it. Yeah, for sure. I think it's amazing. I, you know, I, I'm, it's amazing that, you know, you took all that knowledge from, from the corporate world and as, as much as it was burning you out and stressing you out, the knowledge you learned, you were able to take that and actually move forward and turn, you know, your dreams really into a reality and, and, you know, and live off, you know, make, make your, your dreams, your, your passion, because I'm sure when you wake up in the morning, now you're excited because you're doing something that you love, you know, definitely. Does it seem like it, you get angry when you see some of the, the makeup they sell and some of the beauty things they sell in the stores and, and how people and consumers are actually falling for a lot of these, you know, um, advertising gimmicks? Yeah, you know, I don't get angry. I, I, I just sort of say, look, if they've been able to do that with such a bad product, then I know I'm going to be successful no matter how long it takes because people pay to play. If you're willing to pay to get an Oprah's list or be a placement in a magazine, you can pay to play. But I think that organically growing and having people, I mean, we have people that have ordered for us in the last two years, they've been maybe they've been repeat customers to the tune of a couple of thousand dollars. Right. And I've had beauty editors. If you go to our website and look at Joy News, there's um, we were featured in a piece um, last month through um, Daily Candid News where nice. beauty editors actually paid for our products. And they told me, we want to feature you again this year for free because we don't normally pay for products. And, you know, we had sent them a bunch of samples last year and we made it like in their top 10 list. So the feedback is something I take super seriously. And um, I know that the more women and, you know, anyone who has skin really, who tries the product, you, they love it. It's like, you can't bottle up the Starbucks experience. I call it, <laughs> you know, why people are waiting in line for an average of five to seven minutes every day. They overpay for the 89 cents cup of coffee and four or five dollars and somehow magically appears in their budget uh to be justified yeah so, um i kind of feel the same way you have to have an experience when you open and smell the oil and then think about what is your joy list and and you put your name what is your stacy list mm -hmm. and put yourself at the top of the stacy list and think yeah. about what is the one thing you can do every day to make yourself feel better inside and out, you know? Right. And so we really are focusing on that movement with our products and, you know, affirmations and things like that. I think that, you know, you made a really good point. You know, it's funny how people will spend money on frivolous things, you know, thing, and, and like you said, a coffee that would cost them 89 cents to make people are paying like $5. And then you'll see people like when they go into stores or if they, you know, they see something, oh, it's too expensive, but yet they'll go and they'll spend, you know, five bucks on a cup of coffee. And if you think about it, if you do that every day, when you're going to work five times a week, you know, and, and then it just adds up. But then, you know, p people, when it, when it comes to things that matter, people sometimes get really cheap about it. Yes. And, you know, it, it, it drives me crazy when I think about stuff like that. What about you? Yeah, no, I mean, I think that it's, it's the same with, you know, my mother used to play slot machines and gamble and, you know, I would take her somewhere and we would have so much fun and she would be like, why are you not, I'm giving you some money. Why don't you sit here and play the slot machines with me. And I'm like, nope, I'm going to go. I wanted to go looking for things that are tangible Yeah, so to each his own. Like you set aside the amount, but in this day and age, when we look at women and how they spend money, there's never a recession on beauty products. And so I just, I think, like I said, there's room for everybody. And, um, when people feel the values there and, they love the way your product makes them feel. Yeah. It's about how I feel and less about how I look. And what is some of the feedback that you've been getting on your products? Yeah, we are so grateful for our client base. You know, uh, we've received a lot of great reviews, a lot of repeat buyers. Um, 
on obviously different platforms like Pinterest and TikTok, it's a much younger audience, but yeah. I would say our core bread and butter is over 40. And in that, you know, spot in the, in that middle age spot where people are saying, gosh, I've tried everything. I've tried Botox. I've yeah. tried, you know, maybe I haven't gotten a facelift yet, which I'm in that stage right now is like, what point do I go under the knife? But <laughs> feel like you have one product versus using this complicated skincare regime. Yeah. And, you know, feeling like all the people that we see on reality TV and on Instagram, yeah. these people that we're measuring ourselves against, it's so not reality. And yes. so your everyday woman who's busting her butt to make a living and support her family, uh, you want one stop shopping a product that will multitask with like everything. And so I think, you know, that's, that's what I think of in terms of our, our biggest advantage is it's one product that serves a multitude of benefits. Yeah. And I think too, you know, like if people took better care of their skin and they, and they take care, you know, as much as they take care of other stuff in their life, like their car, you know, you could keep yourself looking youthful. For, at, for a longer period of time, you could avoid, you know, sometimes it's genetic wrinkles and stuff like that, but sometimes it, it's because our, our skin is too dry or we're not taking care of it the way we should, or we're not replenishing ourselves with the right nutrients and vitamins, you know, it's a combo, you know? So it's like, you know, people have to really stop and think, I think, you know, how are we taking care of our face? How are we taking care of our bodies? And, and, you know, that plays, I think a big factor too. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, they say our primary food is not just food and water, right? I think it's laughing. I think it's having a great energy of people around you. There, there are other, you know, what they say in integrative nutrition, it's having that primary food is not just the food you ingest. So yeah. I think it's the same with your makeup routine or your skincare routine. I've, uh, been through phases in my life when I've had facials and complicated steps to getting ready. And I think the older that we get, you're looking to have a make under, like we want to be more natural and yeah. look how the same as how we feel. Right. That's kind of my underlying motivation for looking at other products to incorporate into the, my joy beauty brand is mm -hmm. What can we do um, right now? We're looking at, um, I know online, there's a big push for the Tarte or other brands that are sort of the, called Wide Awake. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at uh, things that multitask, like what is the, the Wide Awake, but also serves as a concealer that yeah. goes on very high quality, very, you know, stays put, doesn't doesn't crease or yeah move around so you know makes you look like you had more sleep than what you did and right. kind of looking looking at those ancillary products to augment like what we currently have yeah because I think right now I think it's it, people want to feel young they want to look young and it's become very, very um, popular in today's society. You know, they they want to feel they want to feel that youthfulness. They want to look in the mirror, and they and they want to look youthful as well. You know, and yeah. I think I think it's really important that people really you know think about what they're putting on their faces and what they're putting on their lips and what they're putting on their their bodies. You know, and I I think it's an important factor. You know, yeah. um, you know, have you seen, you know, the differences when I heard stories about people have used other products that maybe their ingredients weren't so good and things have happened and, and stuff like that? Definitely. I mean, I think that a lot of my friends before I came out with this product, they just went under the knife or they were getting fillers and Botox and things like that, because the fact is in the circle and the persona will say the avatar that I sell to thinks that plastic surgery is the number one thing to go to. If you really want change, unless you're so gifted, uh, with genetics and there are yeah. women who do not have wrinkles and who have a certain skin type that they don't need Botox, but I did not fall into that. And so I think that women would pay two and $300 for 
the jar of cream at Neiman Marcus and you use it and you're like, this is crap. Like this doesn't yeah. even work. And I mean, I still order stuff off of Instagram and I'm really amazed at how much of it doesn't work. And yeah. so I think women are really tired of that. And then again, being my age and we're all carrying so much on our shoulders and yeah. we're doing so much for others. We need to really do something for ourselves and you want a product that works and you want to see instant results. I don't want to wait two months. Right. So that's, that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> and I think most women feel like that too. We don't want to wait two months to see results. You know, some, there are certain things in life where it's going to take time to, you know, like when you're trying to lose weight and stuff like that, but when it comes to your face and you, and you're putting, you're applying different oils and different things on your face, you, you, or your lips or your, you know, your forehead, whatever, you know, you, you want to see results. You want to, after the, the first couple of usages say, wow, I feel a difference, you know, or wake up in the morning and say, wow, look at my skin's glowing, you know, and you know, you don't want to have to like wait two, three months, you know, to see results. Yes. I mean, I have a, my friend Adrian that I've had for well over 20 years and she's Hispanic, but she is very lucky that she's never had Botox or anything. Yeah. So she just started seeing fine lines, started using the oil last year. And before Christmas, she said, I can't believe, you know, I went to my family reunion and everybody said, what are, what are you doing different with your skin? Like we want to know. And so uh -huh. I get a lot of things like that out of the blue. And so I then take it to the next step and say, would you mind posting about it? Yeah. And it's like, oh no, I don't want to put myself out there, but some of them do. And I love, that's the most gratifying thing for me is, um, the friendships and the people who connect and say, oh my gosh, I referred this to my mom and now yeah. they, all, you know, they all order it and it's, it's really fun. Oh yeah, for sure. And you know what, when you put your heart into something and it actually works and then you see people having positive results, that's the best thing, you know, that, that it's, it's a great, like you said, a gratifying feeling, you know, to be able to, you know, because it, when you're, when you're working so hard on the, on the business end, trying to create a product that's going to be so useful to help and, you know, so many, you know, people out there, you know, keep their youth and then you actually accomplish it. You know, yeah. that's a, that's a very rewarding feeling, I would think. Definitely. Definitely. Now, did, it, did it take a long time to get the idea and to put everything together? Or was it like, you know, you start to really things start to flow? Like, you know, I, there's so many people out there that have these ideas that want to come out with products. They want to do this and this and this. Is it a hard process? You know, is it, is it something that, that anybody can really do? Or is it something, you know, explain to us for people who do have this dream similar to yours? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's so interesting. I, I have a strong need. And again, I think it's from my corporate background and training. I have a strong innate need to execute and follow through yeah. and I'm impatient. So in some areas I'm very patient, but in business, I'm not patient at all. Yeah. And so I do talk to other people who want to start somewhere. And I would say you have to start and you have to execute. You have to make decisions. And my mantra that my you know, dear mentor, sweet friend told me was good is better than perfect. You yeah. have to get something out there. So people who get tripped up in the beginning, they don't want to make decisions because they're in this analysis of paralysis of should the bottle be blue or white? Should I have a copper topper or should mm -hmm. I do this font? And of course, I've seen all that in business too. And I'm like, you know, at some point we've got to stop pontificating and we've got to make some money. Yeah. I figure for me, it was really once I found the product, it's like dating somebody and then deciding to get engaged. Your manufacturer is the most important relationship. Yes. But you have to trust them. I think that's a much longer process than it is deciding what your label and your colors and your lookalikes uh, of other brands. Um, right. So you can literally get started in a couple of months or, you know, from soup to nuts, I would say three to six months is, is not out of normal. Like it's, it's an easy thing to do, but I do know people who can't get out of that three month window yeah. and 
it takes them forever because they can't make simple decisions on, you know, basic things that they need to do because the bottom line is, I mean, we started out with a different color bottle and a few other nuances related to my brand yeah. and we changed them easily. And you know what? I don't think anyone even noticed. Right. Um, so that's kind of my feedback on getting out there and getting started. I think that's great feedback because I think, you know, people have to relate. One of the main things I got out of that is that don't get hung up on the little things, you know, yeah. those things could really be changed anytime. And like you yeah. said, you know, people probably didn't even notice that you made a little change in your font or anything. And actually, I don't really think people care that much. You know, like when I've seen companies, they've changed their label and they've changed things. And I know it's the same product, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't even phase me. As long as I know I'm getting that quality product. I don't care, you know, and, and people shouldn't get, you know, hung up on the little things. Cause like you said, those things could always be changed. Just get it rolling and get, get the ball. Rolling. Yeah. Yeah. We were worried too, in the beginning about our like boxing and, you know, we made the decision in the beginning. Uh, I, I took a bunch of my samples to retreat uh, with my dear friends in Hilton head. And we went out there and put them in the little satchels and, put, you know, custom stickers and affirmations. And the, the first feedback surprisingly that I got was we appreciate so much that you don't spend extra money on packaging mm. and, you know, the actual product is all we care about because you talk, you toss the box out. Yeah. So I incorporated all of that and we've never really gone to boxing. It's just sort of straight from the manufacturer and and then we work on the opening experience which I'm really big into and yeah. um, you know not a lot of overhead you know I, I've seen products that they they spend so much money on the boxing of it that they had to up their price so much and and for what they were selling the product wasn't even that great and, you know, like, but they spent so money, so much, you know, it wasn't that it wasn't great. It was for the price they were selling it for. It was outrageous, you know, and it was because they had beautiful labelism and, and boxing, but that's what you were spending the money on. I'd yeah. rather have a simple product, you know, and I didn't care so much about the boxing and then being able to actually have a quality product. That's what really it boils down to in my eyes personally is, is the quality of the product. Definitely. I mean, you would not believe I did a whole class on boxing and labeling. And when you do the gold lettering and raised lettering on the boxing and depending on the envelope, you know, uh, packaging or boxes, yeah. it can add anywhere from five to $25 extra from to, to affect your margin. Yeah. And so, that why would you do that? I mean, right. people don't think about it and then they're thinking, well, why aren't I making any money? And they didn't think about all the little pieces that they're paying that lead up to that final product. So that's exactly. important. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like, you know, like I, I really like the way that you, your products really look nice. Like, could you lift them up so people could see yeah, them? Sure. I have um, the oil here. This was marked as a tester because we were using it, but just simple kind of bottle and it's about what one fluid ounce. And I, I would say, I mean, I go through this really fast because I put it in my bath water. I combine it when I'm shaving or, you know, putting it on the oh, inside wow. and different things. The other thing that this does, if you just take your, I use CeraVe face wash. If you just put a couple of drops in your face wash, it really extends your product to yeah. not only make that product last longer, but it foams it up on your face and it, it's, it's more absorbent with oh, your really? product. So that's kind of a nice little secret. Um, I recently started using this with my self tanner. Mm -hmm. So I love a couple of products out there from Westmore beauty and I, they're kind of thick and they go on kind of the consistency is really good, but when you add a couple of drops, it really allows it to spread evenly where yeah. you, it's not as messy and it smells way better. Yeah. So the oil and then the lips that I have here, this was our Aspen limited edition. Um, we did some trunk shows for the Marcus store in Aspen and 
I wanted it to kind of reflect like the winter snow and everything. So this is our limited edition lip oil. And the best thing about this product is not only the quality of it's, it's five ingredients, it's sunflower, safflower, um, oil, vitamin E, um, it jojoba. And this applicator is insane. I mean, it's the same applicator that I believe that Dior uses, but oh, really? just on like really clear and you can mix it with, you know, anything, but it stays on and it's not sticky. And so oh, wow. that's our, we've got two different colors, but this one's a limited edition. And then we have a muse, which is more of a pink, um, fleshy color that everyone loves. And I even had someone that ran out and she wanted to order it. And she's like, I had to take the applicator and use it on my other lip gloss. <laughs> <laughs> I love the applicator so much. So I like we're so that. excited about that. Yeah. Cause a lot of times you don't see applicators made like that. They're either made cheaply yeah. or they're just like brushed on and you don't really see, you know, that, that one is really, I like the way how it has like a really thick brush to it, you know, like, yeah. like a, you know, so it seems like it absorbs really nice. Like it pushes the, you know, the product into the lip. So it gets absorbed really nicely. Definitely. And I like it. It's just not tacky at all. Um, you know, you go throughout the day and then sometimes, you know, you end up having this white line on your lips and you, that doesn't happen with my joy lips. Um, great for when you work out or if you're, you know, putting on a balm or like a Mac lipstick or something and want to wear it over it's, it's amazing. So yeah. we love it so much. And it, it doesn't have a fragrance on the lips. The facial oil has rosehip in it mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it smells amazing. And people love the way the facial oil smells just yeah. very, uh, I, I happen to love rosehip. I love, that's like, I need to send you some. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I love it. I love it. Now, if you had to like emphasize like to people and you wanted to really like have people understand like some important aspects that we discussed today, what would be some of the things that you would want people to get across, like, you know, to understand about maybe makeup and, and understand about what we put on our face or anything that you thought was important in the conversation? Yeah, I mean, thank you for asking. I, I think that more than anything, I try not to overthink things in terms of like, being about me personally. And somebody might say, well, who cares what you want? It's like, what do I want? And yeah. I mean, I, for women in general, I would love to convey the fact that anyone can start their own company. Anybody I'm from a small town in New Mexico, uh, the third poorest state in the country and, you know, did not have an Ivy league education, did not, you know, have access to money at all. And so I think that, anybody can do it. And I think that if, if we stop comparing ourselves to people online on Instagram and reality TV, we have to just understand that you can have it all. You cannot have it all at once. Right. I think that you have to prioritize yourself and figure yeah. out how can I be the best to myself and so that I can be the best to others. And, right. you know, 18 to 22% of women who start companies are making that million dollar mark. So why can't we increase that statistics? Um, yeah. And I, I think, you know, I'd love to be a part of any community or anyone that wants to reach out and how we can support one another. I think it's important. Yeah, no, definitely. I think, and I think it's important because a lot of women are now bonding together to, to, you know, business owners and helping each other out and, you know, really becoming, you know, really resilient and, and, and really making their mark in the world because, you know, it's, I think it's very important as well, you know, and, uh, I like the the product a lot. I think it's, it's great that you're doing this now, where can people find this product? Both of them actually. Yeah. Thank you so much. We, we've done trunk shows at Marcus in Aspen, Colorado. So we're there from time to time. We're not in their store, but, um, I've got a great following there, which I'm very thankful for. We're online at our website. You can order from, uh, www.myjoybeauty.com or order through Instagram, which is joy, my joy beauty, same thing. We have a great newsletter with a lot of great content that comes out every Sunday night. And 
We want to make sure that all women know that they can build a multi-million dollar business to align with what they need and what they want in life. I love that. I love that. Now, do you have any type of um, any type of specials or anything going on on your website or? Yes, uh, we do. And I forget what the code is. Uh, Megan Turner is our head of marketing and we'd love to get her on some of these podcasts because yeah. she's awesome. And there, it, it's on our Instagram and I can't okay. remember it's spring 20, but uh, it should be on the website. It should be on um, Instagram and it's 20% off um, for this month. Of oh, excellent. Available. And I'm certain if anyone would send us a DM or comment that they watch the show, we would love to extend an exclusive offer. Oh, that's great. And yeah. tell everybody once again, your website, so they don't forget. Yes. Uh, www.myjoybeauty.com. I love it. I love it. Now, is there anything else that you want to share with the audience before we go that you, you know, something that you'd like to maybe uh, emphasize or some things that you want to say before we go? I cannot think of anything except for how thankful I am for having this business and the customers who have supported us and how much they all mean to me. And I, you know, I, and I have to commend you also, you know, you really, you come a long way and what you did wasn't really easy, you know, like it, it, it sounds easy, but you know, you've gone through a lot to get where you are, you know, and yeah. you know, and the corporate world is not an easy world. And, you know, you were able to actually, you left, you came back for a little while to, to, and, you know, you did what you needed to do. And then you pursued, you continued to pursue your dream and you never gave up and look where you are now, you know, so that shows people if they have a dream, their dreams can become their reality. You know, yeah. it's just being persistent and having resilience and just, just, you know, and not giving up you know, just having that mentality that you could do it and believing in yourself. And I think you amplified all those qualities today. So I, I really commend you on everything you've done. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. It was a pleasure having you on the show today. I hope you'll come back soon. And then, yeah. we, you know, we could tap into a lot of different topics because, you know, yeah. we really had a lot of different things we, we, you know, briefly went over, but there's so many things, you know, that you tapped into that were really meaningful. And I loved having you on. Thank you, Stacey. Appreciate it so much. Yes. And you have a great day. Okay. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.